Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Crawl Let's Play. Almost at Enlarn. Getting too used to that. And window sizing issues as per usual. Close enough. Okay, well, you might notice that I updated to a slightly newer version. I didn't know there was one. I haven't checked in a while. So, new name, and I don't know what's different about this one. So, we'll find out together, I guess. Somebody in the comments wanted me to do an even newer version that's not a stable release yet, but I'm holding off on doing that. I haven't checked it out yet. Uh, eh. I guess I'll go for a troll. Uh, one thing I didn't really mention last time, somebody, I think the same person actually mentioned it in the comments. <laughs> The colors on the screen, like whether it's a dark gray with a reddish background or that green color background and a light gray or white, that basically determines whether or not the game recommends this race class combination. So like last time my Naga Assassin combination was not recommended, which I mean I don't really care about, but yeah, it wasn't recommended. This time our Troll is recommended to be a fighter of some sort. And I think I'll go for the fighter, actually. And we'll use our claws. Sure. Uh, what are you? P? Just a bush, I guess? Yeah. Weird. So I've never actually I've never actually played a troll. Oh, right, skills. Uh we'll take off unarmed combat for now. Yeah, we'll put points into dodging. We have really bad racial stats, actually. I think our health regenerates though, and we can eat as much as we want. Which if you notice last time, every now and then our Naga would say he wasn't hungry. Well, now we can just eat flesh whenever we damn well please, even if we're not hungry. So, that's a pretty neat thing to have. I think we also regenerate health faster. I don't know if I said that already. But that's just sort of par for the course for trolls. Uh, no. No. I'll cut out that corpse, though. I'll take a cloak. Wear the cloak. So, uh, oh, okay, I did start my timer, but I didn't check the time. Wonderful. I'm really scatterbrained today. Just fucking around with eggs for a, um, another YouTuber, uh, the King Nabby. I'll probably link in the description be if I remember to. It's doing a live show tonight as of recording this. It's probably already started by the time this uploads, to be honest. And at the last episode of it, or the last show of it, Kristen, Cuddle of Death, I follow her on here, I think I should. I don't know if she's in my recommended channels though. But she's a Pokemon YouTuber, for the most part. And she's doing an egg lock, which is a special challenge sort of thing. And she's taking eggs from viewers, so... I got an egg for her and sent it in, and hopefully it didn't break like it did the first couple times I tried to make it. Speaking of, I've been considering doing a side project as a, of a Pokemon game, but... I'm not really sure if I want to. Yeah, let's eat some flesh. Not really sure if I want to, but I've been considering it. So, let me know in the comments what you think about that, actually. If you'd actually watch that, or if it's a bit too far off of the roguelike thing that I've got going on. If I did it, it would probably alternate uploads with 
any other with another project, so probably this one. I've also got another one up video I have planned, but I don't want to talk about that just yet because I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Uh, cobalts are poisonous. Um, I can normally, like, as a as a naga, you can eat co cobalts because you're very poison resistant. But most creatures, if you try to eat a cobalt, you'll just get sick and die. So I need to keep that in mind now that I'm not a naga. Which is weird for me. I normally play nagas. We are just crushing all of these. I think we get hungry faster than... other creatures too, which is probably a downfall, but whatever. Auto explore, go! Uh, should be getting close to the end of this floor, right? Yep. Cool. Next. Jackals. Next is jackals. Of course next is jackals. Why wouldn't it be jackals? It's always fucking jackals. Oh, uh, one thing. Um, when I was doing... Yes, which of those? When I was doing... Brogue. Yeah, Brogue. People seemed really happy to watch me experiment with things, and I didn't really get to do that much in... in Larn because the game really punishes you for doing that. But this game seems to be okay with me just reading and drinking random things. Like so. Uh, I'll try it on the short sword, I guess. Nothing. J, read, er, potion? Okay, potion of speed. K, read. Skull of fog. Alright. So yeah, I can actually experiment with things on this in this game and not have them completely backfire like they wouldn't crawl if I did that. Which is nice. I do actually like being able to experiment with things. It's one of the more fun parts of roguelikes for me, but I don't know, crawl just really discourages it. Or not crawl. And learn really discourages it. So let's get I don't know. I think stat death is a thing in this game, so Int might be the better option, but I want to get my strength up. Book. Ooh. I think those give us spells, don't they? Read. The Book of Hindrance. Confusing touch. Slow. Confuse. Petrify. Liquefaction. And inglaciation? Inglaciation. Yeah, so probably slowing. I would think that's slowing anyway. Do I have any? Yeah, I have jackal flesh. I have lots of jackal flesh. Uh, Nemelex. Hello. Nemelex is a strange and unpredictable trickster god whose powers can be invoked through the magical packs of cards painted in the acre of demons. Followers are expected to sedulously sacrifice valuable items, the type of which will influence the gifts. Followers are also advised to trust in the cards and use them as much as possible. However, the trickster can ensure that fortune favors the bold. Yes, this is actually my favorite deity in this game. So it's what? Yeah, thank you for welcoming me. I think it's... Well, I can't wear that anyway. Uh, yes. So, basically he gives me a bunch of decks of cards that I can evoke. Uh, 
grants me a gift. Plain deck of cards. Yeah, and with these I can I can evoke them. Yeah, my health regenerates a lot faster as a troll. Like so, I think. Where is it? Oh. Inscribe? What? Hmm. I thought it was evoke. Do I have to equip them? Maybe. Draw a card. It's Banshee. Which scared the fuck out of this little goblin, apparently. Pretty handy, actually, but yeah, I find them really neat. I love those random effects. I'm poisoned. Uh, my regeneration should keep me alive, though. So why can't I? Huh? It's weird. I thought I could just. Oh, hello, E. Yep. Uh, okay, that went a lot better than I expected. He's just a goblin now. I'll pray, and I'll, I'll grab these, actually. And quiver them. It's good to have stuff to throw at people, actually. Dry fountain, an apple. What is this? So water? Yeah, shallow water, okay. I guess I should at least read these. <sighs> Kiku Bakwadga, that's a mouthful, is a terrible demon god served by those who wish to indulge in the powers of death. It is evil and requires the death of living creatures and demons as often as possible. I think he's the one that lets you um summon undead allies. I'm not sure about that, but I think so. And who are you? Cherubiados the Com Contemplative. Cherubiados is a god who meditates on the mystery of time. Those who choose to follow this deity's path will learn to assume unnecessary haste, slow down both themselves and others, and hurt those who refuse to slow down. Especially devout followers may even temporarily abandon the flow of time and its needless disturbances. I don't think so. I'll cut that up. Why do I keep... That's weird. I don't know. Every time I cut up a... monster, it seems like I get tossed around somewhere. Used with me. Good. Uh, I think I have a ring of identify. Read on the blackened ring. Protection from cold. Okay. Put that on. E yes. What? Sigmund. Oh, that's shift A, not... Okay. I want auto pick up on... Oh, I'm being attacked from somewhere, and I don't know where, because it's fucking Sigmund. Okay. Uh... I think it was O? Yeah. Field. Evoke. Okay, teleporting. No, I don't want to attack there. Get the fuck away from Sigmund. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, inventory, oh, unwield. 
Yeah, Sigmund is a problem. And apparently my hamsters are having a issue of some sort. Pray for those. I could have sworn there was a button to quickly change between two items, but I don't know what it is, and I don't really want to look on camera. And I know I said <laughs> the same thing last episode, but I forgot to look. Uh, let's try this potion. Quaff. Cure mutation. That's not useful. Uh, okay. Killed Sigmund. I'll pick up the scythe, leave the robe, pray. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna take a break here. Okay, nothing attacked me while I was napping. I need food. Oh, I have an apple. I'll eat that. Okay, that didn't do anything. So, meat ration fills me right up. Good. Uh, oh, I can't even pray to her. I don't know what Sif Moon it is, but I don't know. Presumably she wants intelligence, which I clearly do not have on this character, at least. And yeah, um, now that we are aligned to a, is it shift G? Yeah. Now that we're aligned to a deity that likes when we like offer them up stuff, the auto, tr the auto explorer will actually bring us to items that our deity would like us to offer them. Uh, speaking of offerings, Cool. Okay. That went much better than our uh, assassin last time, I think. Uh, what was I going to say? I was about to say something, I completely forgot what it was. Well, let's experiment with some of these scrolls and stuff now. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to use these identifies first. Plain deck of escape. Uh, identify the potions, actually. Potion of magic. And a potion of flight. <laughs> Enchant weapon 2. My claws are not a weapon, unfortunately. At least they're not an enchantable weapon as far as I know. An enchant weapon 1. That sucked. Oh well, my claws are pretty badass though. So what are my stats looking like? My dodging is up to 4.0, and my fighting is 3.1. Uh, I think I can leave it at that. Hmm. I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna take out shields, actually, and put it into unarmed. Because I'm not even using a shield, and I don't really plan to. I guess I could use a shield, but meh, I don't really care. Oh, another thing. Gold is actually useless in this game, like in a lot of roguelikes just does nothing. I think if I sac if I offer up enough corpses, I get a deck of summoning. Which is pretty neat. Okay, kill the priest first. That sounds horrible, doesn't it? Eh, whatever. I'll offer up all that, all that, and all that. I don't really like the deck of escape 
too much because its uses are pretty limited. I'll take that intelligence point now, actually. Like, it's really good if you actually need to escape. Any other time, it's completely useless. So, yeah, every time I... Okay, I think I figured out what's happening. And let's eat a bunch of stuff. Okay. And we found some scrolls of fog. I think those help us run away from enemies, actually. I don't think the enemies can actually see through the scrolls, which is pretty cool. Ife Kafako? That's awkward to say. Uh, what are you? Iron Wand. Uh, Sorry if you can hear that, there's some sort of fucking alarm going off because of the kids playing down the street. I think they ran into a car or something. Dumbass kids. Being, you know, dumbass kids. Uh, evoke. You. Guinea pig. One lightning. Cool. Uh, apparently I forgot to sign out Skype. A bunch of stuff here. Cut up this corpse and then pray for this item. Okay, do I have... Yeah, I have draw one now. That's good. So I don't actually need to equip a deck to use it now. I can just draw one. And that'll give me the top card off the deck, I think. Uh, I can only use it, like, occasionally. I think it has some sort of extra cost attached to it, but, you know, it's better than nothing. I haven't really been using those darts. Probably should. Yeah, like that. But this character is actually really good at his teleport trap. He's actually really good at what he does. And what he does is bludgeon things to death with his bare hands. Well, what she does, rather, because I did name the character after me, so. Yeah. Pray, pray, pray. Eat. Yeah, I'll eat another chunk of flesh. That's really nasty, actually. But we're just eating the flesh of random things we murdered in a cave. I think it's a cave. Fuck if I know, but it seems like a cave. Next floor, I guess, because we need to go murder something to, to eat. Uh, cool, got one. Eat, yes. Pray, grab the potion. I think I have some stuff that I can experiment with now, right? Yeah. Let's read. Scroll of noise. And read. Uh. Huh. Guess I'll try it on that. Nothing. The quaff restore abilities, that doesn't really help me. And W quaff invisibility. That actually kind of helps after that school of noise. Though not too much because it's already flickering. Uh, I think I'm going to cut the episode soon. 
We'll see if I survive this encounter with the goblin with the orcs. Not goblins. Okay, time to eat a bunch of orc chunks. Sling bullet they don't care about. Moth of Wrath. Never actually seen this one. A Moth of Wrath. Fire blocked by an iron grate. Uh, describe. Moth of Wrath, a rare species of moth. Eradicated centuries ago from the surface. Ability to drive those who look upon it insane with rage. Huh. So, I'm gonna just assume that I shouldn't break that thing out of its little hole there. Should be able to beat these worms though. Yeah. Cut those out. And pray over the skeletons. You, you, I'm not fucking with. Axe, a dagger. Uh, altar of Trog. One button. Trog is an ancient god of anger and violence. Followers are expected to kill in Trog's name and sacrifice the dead. In return, gain power in battle and also occasional rewards. Trog hates all wizards and loves to see their spellbooks burn. Followers are forbidden the use of spell magic. No. Uh, speaking of spell magic, I'm gonna drop a couple things and offer them to Nemelix. Yes, I know a Moth of Wrath is nearby. That's why I'm not... I'm leaving now. I don't plan on letting that moth out anytime soon. Okay, I'm going to teleport soon. Cool. So, it doesn't look like there's too much going on here. We can actually handle these orcs pretty well so far. Yeah, counting our Pokemon before they hatch or something. Uh, I should probably actually consider using these weapons, but I really like running around bludgeoning things to death with my claws. Uh, Did I empty that deck? Yeah, I guess I did. Well, cunt. I'm a bit fucked, aren't I? Guess I could zap one of them. Hmm. I'm more poisoned. Uh, do I die? No. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead. That sucks. Oh well. Okay, well, see you next time, guys. Bye!